Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anil Shirati, Professor and Consultant at Jain College of Engineering, Belgavi. So today is the second session on system dr drives and devices and actuators of additive manufacturing subject. So in the last class we have saw hydraulic actuators okay, or hydraulic cylinders. So we saw four types of cylinders that is a linear acting one is single cylinder double cylinder telescopic cylinder then tandem cylinder so we saw their application also we saw how it is used in aeroplanes so in today's class we are seeing hydraulic motors so depending upon the mechanism employed to provide the shaft rotation hydraulic motors can be classified into three types one is geared motors vane motors piston motors and depends in piston motors there are two axial piston and radial piston motors so let's see one by one let's start first with the geared motors so this is a simple sketch of a gear motor okay a gear motor a external gear consists of two gears the driven gear okay attached to the output shaft by the way of keyways and the idler gear the high pressure oil is ported into one side of the gear where it flows around the periphery of the gear between the gear tips and the wall housing in which it resides to the output port the gear then meshes not allowing oil from output shaft to flow backside the inlet wall so this is a simple diagram for gear motors so it consists of a casing there are two gears one is the driver another is the driven so here where the meshing of the teeth take place so fluid will flow from here inside when the it will rotate it will goes towards this output so the torque is generated by differential pressure across the tooth of one and the across the tooth of the other one the effect of pressure across this tooth cancels the torque generated by one of the about it therefore the torque is a function of pressure of the one two next is the vane motor okay so a vane uh, uh, motor consists of a housing with an eccentric bore okay so you can see here bore is not at, exactly at the center of the casing in which runs a rotor veins in it that sides in and out the force differential created by unba unbalanced forces of the pressurized fluid on the veins causes the rotor to spin in one direction the critical element in the this one is the this whatever the red color vein design which will decide the point of contact between the vein tip and the motor housing so as this is eccentric when it start rotating differential pressure is developed which will move the inlet and the outlet pump. Next is the inline piston motor. So you can see this is a simple picture of an inline motor, piston motor. So inline piston motor generates a torque through a pressure exerted at the ends of the piston that reciprocate in a cylinder block. In inline design, the motor drive shaft and the cylinder blocks are centered in the same axis. The pressure at the end of the piston causes a reaction against the tilted swash plate and rotates the cylinder block and the motor shaft. The torque is proportional to the area of the piston and is a function of angle at which the swap plate is positioned. So you can see this is the outlet port, inlet port. Okay, These are the uh, pistons and this is the drive and the swash plate. There are two types, whatever the piston type motors we saw. First one was inline one. Second is the band access pistons. So the only difference here, you what you get is the axes are not uh, collinear. So they are intersecting. So this is at an angle. Okay. So band access motor develops a torque through a reaction to the pressure in the reciprocating piston. In this design, the cylinder block and drive shafts are mounted at an angle to each other. And the reaction is against the drive shaft flange. Okay. So this is the shaft, this is the second outward shaft. 
next is the radial type of piston motor so you can see in this picture this is a radial type consists of a casing center line this is the cylinder block center line so they are not at the same axis this is the pintle outlets inlets pistons and the reciprocating ring okay this is the cylindrical block the radial piston motors have a cylinder barrel attached to the uh, driven shaft the barrel contains a number of pistons that reciprocate in a radial bores the outer piston and bear against a thrust ring the pressure fluid flows through a uh, through a pinlet okay this pinlets in the center of the cylinder barrel to drive the piston outboard the piston pushes against the thrust ring, uh, ring and the reaction forces rotates the complete barrel so in today's class we saw different types of hydraulic motors okay so if you have any questions you can contact me on about email id and you can also sms or whatsapp me on the about number thank you everyone i request everyone to subscribe for the channel